Zincovery is a critical minerals company. We're taking a, a waste material from the steel mill, we extract the, the zinc at low cost and with low emissions, and we sell it back to the steel mills. Zinc Covery is emerging as a global leader in resource recovery, with the potential to reduce emissions from critical metals refining by 95%. You know, being able to reduce the carbon footprint of their steel products, and in our case, actually substantially decreasing the cost. Zinc Covery's process is highly profitable. Zinc Covery is a fantastic example of what New Zealand can do in deep tech commercialisation. With major commercial agreements in place, Zinc Covery is on track to reach US $1 billion in revenue in the next 10 years. We've taken investment from two Fortune 500 companies, and I think that speaks to the strength of both the, the technology that we're developing and the market need that we're solving. So collaboration has been key right from the beginning. This includes with one of the US largest steel refiners. The steel mill partner that we've signed a, a term sheet with is a 300 million per annum opportunity with just that single customer. This is truly something that is great for New Zealand and building value uh, from R&D. We bred a new French fry potato variety. It has improved characteristics right throughout the value chain. With the demand from major global fast food chains, Crop78 is taking on the traditional french fry market. So Crop78, it solves problems uh, for the grower in being able to grow a higher number of potatoes in a smaller land area in a more sustainable way. And they're tasty. It is a super potato. So Crop78, you get more for less. Tastes great. Factory loves it. Growers love it. Seed suppliers love it. And we've heard Crop 78 called the unicorn, the perfect potato. This perfect potato is now in commercial production in New Zealand and advancing rapidly towards international uptake. The impact that we can deliver from the science gets out into the hands of growers. And we've got interest from fast food restaurants and focusing on their sustainable uh, credentials. And I think it really builds that reputation for New Zealand. We've been focusing on these sustainability traits a lot longer than a lot of the rest of the world. So it's putting us on the map. Nectaron is the latest, the very usable hop with great aromas for the, for the craft beer market. Nectaron has brought a whole new flavour profile to the global beer market and created a game-changing pilot brewing process at the same time. Out of what has been a long partnership between NZ Hops and Plant and Food, on farm we can produce it at scale and in the market it has cut through because of its quality. It's changed the way we do our breeding significantly. Coming up with a methodology to have high throughput breeding for flavour and aroma, we know whether they're good or not within a day basically. So I think it gives us the ability to get to market faster. We can fast fail things because we're testing them in the brewing style that they're being used in. Demand for Nectaron is growing rapidly. In just five years, sales have reached over three million dollars per season. Nectaron is one of the most in-demand varieties in the world. It also gives the, the partnership between Plant and Food and NZ Hops real value in that people are waiting for the next thing because they know that we are only going to release the very best stuff. You know, when you're in market, you get to see people brewing beers with your hops that they regard as you know, the top of their game as well, and that's from the top of our game. <laughs> 